welcome. Welcome to Blue Bonnet Crafters. My name is Gabi and today I want to talk about hexagons. Well, I always talk about hexagons. A matter of fact, I think hexagons are all around me, on my ears, on my head, all around me. But you know what? Let's go inside where it's a little bit cooler and talk about some new hexagon pin looms. Welcome back to our chat about hexagon pin looms. And uh, in this starting or opening picture, you see a new website. We now have turtlelooben.com as the central hub for all information about our hexagon pin looms. So if you ever have any question, go to turtlelooben.com. And from there, you can find uh, our Etsy store, you can find our Facebook page, you can find more information. And this is also the place where I will blog about news about our looms. And the web address is covering up one of our new designs. Those of you who know me know that I like jeans clothing a lot. And I like it even more when I can decorate it, like in this case, my jeans jacket. Um, the original loom, hexagon loom, was a little bit too big to make elaborate designs. But now with our smaller looms, uh, you can make more complex designs and decorate your jeans jackets, which right now is actually um, very popular. For this design, I used the Barocco Swede yarn, which was re-released earlier this year. It weaves beautifully on the hexagon pin looms and crafts a real Swede-like look. So it's not just good for appliques on jeans jackets, but also for a lot of other things. But now let's take a look at the new looms. This is our original turtle loom. And those of you who already own one, you know that the side to side is about four inches. It's actually a little bit less, um, but it's about, and it's a very handy size, similar to the uh, weavets and other traditional pin looms. And you need about six yards of yarn to weave one hexagon. Well, as soon as we released this loom, people asked, what about a bigger one? What about a smaller one? And so here we are. We added a bigger loom. Now we need to, uh, can we zoom out a little bit, please? One more, thank you. So, and since everything is bigger in Texas, we called it the Texas turtle. The Texas turtle has a side to side six inches wide and it needs about 13 yards of yarn to weave one hexagon. On the other end, we have a smaller loom that we call the tiny turtle. The tiny turtle measures two inches side to side and it only needs about two yards of yarn. So let's take a quick look what it looks like when it's woven. And you will see here that the beauty of this scaling and this system is that all three hexagons weave the same fabric in the same manner. Let's talk a little bit about what you can do with those looms. We're still playing with nesting 
hexagons into hexagons and my daughter right now is working on a secret project that she will release shortly with a project idea for nesting hexagons and so I will not take that away from her right now but let's start looking at some projects that you can do with the new looms starting with the hexagon. Not sure how well this shows. This is a hat made of hexagons. I used the path patterns classic wool to make this hat and you have seen me wear it in the introductory little video. Um, you have one hexagon here in the center and then hexagons going off that one in the center and those outer hexagons are flipped over and sewn together to make a hat. Now the reason why I chose the the Patton's Classic Wool is because it's 100% wool and it's feltable. So you can actually felt this head into shape. And before I show you another project with the hexagon, I actually would like to show you two little projects with the new tiny turtle. I had promised a few people online last month that this month I would release a project that absolutely requires no sewing. And while initially I had another project in mind, this one came along. Barocco has the rather interesting yarn called Captiva and it has a beautiful metallic effect. So when I did some test weaving, immediately jewelry came to mind. Actually, can we zoom in on those earrings, please? So these are woven on The move. Let me just move this over a little bit with the zoom in. This is more difficult. Okay, so these are woven on the new tiny turtle loom. Uh, all you need to do is weave your hexagon, which takes you a matter of minutes, and then weave in the starting thread through the hook and weave in the ending thread so that you don't see it and you are done. I have not treated these at all, so they are not starched or anything. Um, I just let them develop their own character while I wear them. So here's a project. It will just take a few minutes and it looks beautiful. Captiva is available in uh, several colors, or actually many colors right now. They all have this slightly metallic effect, which I really like a lot. So if you want to make your own, if you want to weave your own jewelry, uh, take a look at this rather interesting yarn. Okay, um, while we are all zoomed in on the small loom, let's take another look at another project that you can make with the tiny turtle loom. That's a two inch loom. And so my daughter came up with a puff bug. Now you wonder what a puff bug is. And it's very simple. It's a tiny little bug made of two tiny turtle hexagons. And then she used, I'm not sure if this is visible, it's a tulip slick paint 
to decorate it. And it even has feet. I can show you on the other side. Oh yeah, here we go. That shows it even better. So there, this thing has feet and it has all its dots and some eyes. Another rather quick craft. So all you need to do is weave two hexagons, put some stuffing in and decorate it with tulip slick and you are done. So welcome to our first puff bug made with a tiny turtle. While we are at it, you probably noticed that the looms all look a little bit different. Let's talk about that. Can you zoom out, please? There we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. So, for once you notice that the original loom is a little bit thicker. If I turn it like this, you see this is three quarter of an inch. And we decided to make the Texa turtle a little bit thinner. It is rather sturdy, but with the thicker wool, wood, first of all, it was very heavy. And also, it was a little bit harder to hold. Now, with a half inch, which is still absolutely sturdy enough, it has, it maintains a good weight and it lies very comfortable in your hand. You see here, this is a little bit thicker, but for its size, the original turtle loom lies very comfortable in your hand. And I have heard that from many customers that they really like the way the turtle loom feels. We wanted to maintain that experience, but we couldn't do that with thick because this was like it was too heavy and too thick. So that's why this one looks a little bit thinner. We also decided to turn the tiny turtle into a disc. It lies beautifully in the palm of your hand. You can turn it easily in all, but you don't get stuck. There's no hole where you can get stuck. So anyway, I just wanted to quickly mention that uh, in case you noticed or you will notice once you get your set uh, that there are some differences. All right, let's take a look at one more project um, after I make one more note. If you look at the looms or the hexagons as they are woven um, on these looms, uh, one thing this is like people say, okay, why do I need more hexagons? Why do I need bigger hexagons? Why do I need smaller looms? They are still all just hexagons like my son likes to say, perfectly correct. But the different sizes have different purposes. The original turtle loom is one that does it all. It's a comfortable size. You can make some designs uh, that use color work. Um, There's plenty of things that where this size is just right. But I've heard from people that said, I don't like to, to sew a lot. I would like a bigger one. So that's one reason why you would want a bigger hexagon loom so that you don't have too many pieces to sew together. If you go to the other end, the tiny one, you can see you can make tiny things, like with the earrings. Um, but you can also do a lot of complex color work. 
if you go online and look for hexagon designs, um, you will find a lot of rather complex designs, particularly when you talk about uh, penny size quilts. And some of those designs are absolutely beautiful. You would never make them with a loom like this. They are somewhat difficult to make them with a loom like this. With this size, you actually reach a level where you can combine beautiful designs, colorful designs, um, similar to a lot of quilts that people make these days. So each loom has its own purpose. Another thing is that these three looms will scale. A lot of the designs that you have seen with the original turtle loom, you can make and make them bigger. Or you can make them with a tiny turtle to make them smaller. For example, you have seen the amulet pouch. If you use the Texa turtle, it will actually be a bigger pouch. Or you can make a smaller pouch for a doll size. So sizing is a big issue and you will see in the future a lot of designs uh, where the sizing, the different sizing will play a role. Let me show you one more new thing that is true for the Texa turtle loom. We have heard from customers, can I combine hexagons with other shapes? And so far this was like, yeah, well, maybe theoretically you can, of course, but the issue has been that if you go with smaller hexagons and if you, com you have to combine them with rather small other shapes, and that gets very tricky very quickly. One reason why we designed the texa, the texa gone loom the way it is, is that the side length is exactly three and a half inches. Now, if you already own some other small looms, you know that there are actually quite a lot of other shaped looms in the market that use exactly that side length. So let's take a look what you can do with them. Here's an example. I hope you can see this. Let me take this one out of the picture now. So here is our hexagon in the center. And we have combined it with a three and a half inch square and with a three and a half inch equilateral triangle to make this Amish inspired table topper. All right. So some of you may already own these little looms and say, oh, look at that. That's a hazel rose loom. I have that. And yes, that's absolutely correct. Um, when I did my research, um, I found out that actually Hazel has the most complete set of three and a half inch other shaped looms at this point. So if you already own, so this one, this, the square one is probably, is, is the one from the Little Weaver set. And this one is the equilateral triangle that Hazel Rose sells. Um, there will be many more designs in the future with the other shapes that she has to offer. Now, to make any of 
those combined things. You don't have to have those looms. If you have any three and a half inch loom, that will work perfectly fine uh, to make this design or any others that will be there in the future. Again, the beauty here is that the Texagon is designed to have three and a half inch side lengths that can be combined with other shapes that you can weave. And again, if you go online, there are a lot of beautiful quilt designs, quilt blankets, quilt afghans, um, where hexagons are combined with other shapes, whether it's triangles or squares or diamonds or tumbling blocks. Um, if you are interested in that type of craft, there will be plenty. So I hope you enjoyed our little introduction. Again, here is the original loom, the tiny turtle, and the Texa turtle. And again, if you need any more information, go to turtleloom.com for more information or to contact us. Thank you very much. Happy weaving and goodbye.